Oh my goodness. So this box arrived about an hour ago. Um, and I uh, opened it up before I started the video uh, and then got overexcited and everything. So it's not an orderly box, but this is a very special gift box from a very special friend chasing diecast cars in Belgium. Um, a, a very good friend uh, and just so generous. I've done videos uh, from uh, of his gift boxes before and it's just stunning, amazing. So um, the box is too big for me to... I have too much stuff on the desk. I'm going to bring the box down out of view and pluck from it and put everything on the table. Uh, so I'm going to move the box. I'm just going to pause for a second. All right, my friends. So I'm probably not going to open up much here uh, because there's so much of it, but I will show everything um, in in no particular order. Well, in, in this order, because uh, actually we opened this one up before we knew what it was. And this is amazing. So this is a three pack of special majorette Ford F-150 trucks. Um, I will have to uh, look into this. I think that Joran had shown these on his channel. They seem to click together um, in like a storage module thing. I'm going to take the middle one out. Um, and I have a f um, one or two um, of these... Uh, Ford pickups from Majorette. They're pretty damn cool. So, uh, opening hood. Uh, metal body, plastic base, riveted together. Um, these are very cool. And, of course, you know, it, I am a huge Ford uh, and Ford truck fanatic. So, that is sweet. Oh, so, if I can get them to... Stand up in the background, I hope. How is that? Yeah. That is beautiful. Now, what is this? Oh, wow. Okay, so I didn't look at the whole box, but um, yet an, another majorette. And uh, one of my favorites, I love, I, you know, I'm not a huge Toyota fan, but I, I do actually love these early 70s Toyota Celicas, the Celica GT and the GT Liftback. Um, and so I have, I have these from, uh, these Celicas from, uh, Mattel Hot Wheels, Majorette, and the little kit that I, uh, got a while ago, a while ago, Dido. Uh, so this, th this was very cool. And so is this, and this is in... The vintage collector tin series or the metal series. Uh, these are really sweet. Uh, let's see. I'll put the back up here. This is. I love the wheels. I you know, now so the majorettes are a little um, big for scale. I think they're one fifty five or so. This is a one sixty four, but uh, you know. They're so nice, and they and they. Uh, I have a, a burgeoning um, majorette collection here. Of obviously, oh let me hold on. Let me put these ones here. Uh, so there's the Celica. Oh, another collector tin metal series. This is the uh, what is this? Sixty eight or sixty seven Mustang. Yeah. So basically, think Steve McQueen bullet. It's around the same era. Uh, beauty uh, Mustang in the poli uh, police livery so and you know I have well my window box and box cars I keep them in their boxes so and even the uh, I have one or two of the Johnny Lightning collector tents what is this oh <laughs> A Majorette three-pack, limited edition, Series 7. It looks like it has a Lamborghini Aventador, I think, uh, Dodge Charger, and a Ford F-150. 
So that is very cool. I mean, all of this is majorette. Um, I, there are some of my friends that have maybe three majorettes. I, just here, I have a, a collection of majorettes. And I have more. Um, oh, wow. So, this is uh, a 1974 Escort from the Fast and Furious movie. The Escort Mark I RS 1600, uh, I believe. Let me see. And... It is by Mattel. Uh, I think this is the scale is just slightly larger. I think this is similar to the uh, Majorettes is like a 155 scale. That is sweet. So. That's a Majorette. Mattel, Fast and Furious. Oh, again, an, another brand that I do have a few examples of, but always, so uh, I always love these three packs. Uh, Sal from Sal's Diecast and Jaren from uh, Chasing Diecast Cars have uh, sent me a couple of the uh, Welly and the uh, RMZ City three packs over the years, the last two years. So that has the... Uh, Ford GT, a Ford F-150, and a Ford F-150, and it looks like this has been a custom assembled, because you can see this is blocked out, and so is this. So this was a special set made for me by my friends, uh, sort, of like, sort of like David made that custom set a while back. Oh my goodness. From the... <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Shelby Collectibles. And I have a few of these. I think I have maybe five, maybe six models from them. I forget. But uh, this is beautiful. This is the uh, 67 Shelby Custom GT500. And I'm assuming they are trying to skirt the whole Eleanor thing. Although I don't think uh, Mrs. Halicki could sue them. Uh, so this is so awesome. Um... And, oh my goodness, let's see. I have to put these off to the side. They're probably going to be the last ones to come out. Oh my goodness, jeez. Uh, <laughs> Welly. And again, I'm fortunate to have several Wellies in my collection, and these are just awesome. So, a Welly Wonder Kids is from a particular store in Europe. I believe, and this looks like a 1972 Chevy Chevelle convertible, um, and the white stripes, I think it would be an SS. That is sweet. Cool wheels. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, I, again, love European Fords. The original 1970 Ford Capri with the European halogen headlights, rectangular, nice Tampa work. Uh, one of my favorite cars. Um, I you know, I love Mustangs, but I love all Fords, uh, Cortinas, and uh, Capris. Oh, oh, here's a blast from this. So, and old Hot Wheels, 2003 first editions, and it uh, the 1941 Ford pickup with the blower through the. <laughs> hood and the big tires that is very cool thank you my friend i will put that there hopefully it won't fall oh wow this is a 1970 mustang from welly that is so cool and i have a bunch of 69 and 70 mustangs in my collection my older brother bought a 69 mustang project car uh, many, many moons ago, and he had a 66 Mustang at the time, and uh, this one, um, he never finished because uh, burglars came into our driveway and stole parts, uh, very important parts off the car while it was sitting in the driveway. We came out one morning, and the car was up on cinder blocks. Um, 
as I recall. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. So I'm going to pause the camera just for a minute because I, I have to get something. Huh. I am always amazed, you know, so we're friends. We like each other. We exchange gifts and everything, but we've never actually met. But watching each other's videos, and I'm talking about Jason Diecast Car, Saul's Diecast uh, Dynasty uh, Odyssey, um, 2A HD Cat David, John's Big Dappuccino, um, whole lot of Zap, Diecast Clown, all these guys that I consider friends because, you know, um, they're just really nice folks. And, you know, we enjoy, we have the common love of, of cars, Diecast cars. Well, you know, they know you, they get to know you. So when this, I saw this in the box, I had to pause the camera because this is just amazing. So uh, it's a, a green light motor world, which is their early and the high speed casting. It's a 23, uh, 2013 uh, Ford Escape. And uh, what year did this come out to uh, copyright? 2013. Um, and I have a few of these. I have uh, the Dodge Charger and so forth. But the Escape, of course, is one of my you know, weaknesses because I, my daily driver is a Ford Escape. Uh, a few years newer than this, but same basic overall car. I think I've even shown, I know I've shown it on video. Uh, and this baby blue one uh, is amazing because it's not the only baby blue motor world, uh, you know, American edition. It's not the only one of these I have. Um, Early in 2020, when I started collecting again, uh, after many years uh, not really buying cars, and I learned of Greenlight, I searched frantically for a Ford Escape, and I couldn't find the main. You know, the main. I could only find the green machine version here, and as much as I love this. This is um, this is an example of collecting mistake. I paid uh, quite a bit of money for that, <laughs> um, thinking that it was rare, and it, and it was rare, um, sort of. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I got the uh, ten-piece uh, Hollywood set, and that came from the Great Race or the Amazing Race, whatever. This red one, um, and then a friend. Uh, from uh, Europe, from Romania, uh, uh, Dicastrum sent me this beautiful gold one as part of, um, you know, a green light set. So this is very cool um, and an amazing gift. I mean, they're all amazing gifts. Uh, I think I will be blushing too long with this one. Let's see. Oh. A Welly, this looks like a 64 or 65 Pontiac GTO. Um, 65 because of the stacked headlights. 64, the headlights were side by side, I believe. 160 scale. So these these are really cool. Um, now, there are some loose cars, it looks like. Oh. Oh my goodness, so there are some loose cars also. So I will be doing follow-up videos where I open up all of these others eventually, but just not today. Oh! Oh my goodness, hold on. This is a, uh, a Mercedes AMG uh, SLS, I believe. McLaren, and it's a Kyosho. That is a Kyosho. How often do you get a loose Kyosho? And of course, Kyosho was, again, sort of like like this. Um, it was one of those early in my collect, early in my second phase of collecting, recent collecting obsessions. I have probably a dozen Kyoshos. Um, one of my favorite brands, even though it's not the top tier brand, uh, but I think I know for a fact that 
the, one of the top tier brands is here on this box. Now this one I hadn't seen. There's a box in plastic and I can see four, oh my goodness, hold on, hold on. Oh, wow. Is a Corgi Ford Transit, Ford new generation Ford Transit. So, scale 164. This is amazing. Um, I know I said I was going to open any of these and I shouldn't open this, but I'm going to take a chance on it because I just want to quickly, if I can, compare it to, you know what? I'm not going to mess up this packaging right now, although it is deteriorated. Yeah, I'll do another, I'll do a follow-up video on that because, yeah, that does look the same scale as this uh, green light. Wow. Uh, I'm stunned. Oh, hot stuff. Uh, Welly uh, looks to be a 68 or 67 Pontiac Firebird. This is an amazingly nice casting here. Um, wow. A little Pontiac, a little Ford, a little bit of everything here. Uh, I may have to actually do a second part to this video tomorrow. Um, but here's an... Oh, wow! Is this... Yep. A Majorette Mustang SVO. And you can tell the SVO because it's got the biplane two wings, the uh, halogen headlights, and the offset um, hood scoop there. Uh, orange here and in the interior the windows are closed on this no open parts but this is an older one this look at this it's uh the metal base wow hold on yeah oh hold on ah the hood doesn't open that's a new one for me this is the first die cast fox body mustang i have that has the opening hatch that is so cool Another majorette, a beautiful. This is a 2010 or 2012 Mustang Ford Mustang Boss. All right, so it doesn't. That's right. Majorette doesn't specify the year because the years can. You know, they do overlap. That is very cool. A couple more loose cars here. Ford Sierra, and it's a Siku, Ford Sierra 2.3 gear from Siku, and so the Ford Sierra sold here in the United States for only a brief period of time as only a three-door model was known here as the Sierra XR4 Ti, and this is sweet, and I have uh, the new Hot Wheels, uh, and the uh, Inno 64. So I'll do a future video where I, where I compare that or maybe go into all my Majorette collection in more detail. Uh, but we're already at 20 minutes, 19 minutes. So I've got a, a third of a box that I will have to do tomorrow. So this will be Chasing Diecast Cars Part 1. Is, is it Escort? XR3i from Majorette. And again, opening hatch. Yellow tinted windows. Wow. So cool. So cool. So here's an earlier version of that. Uh, the new Majorette trailer hitches have uh, the black plastic up here and the plastic for the hitches also. But this is metal base, metal hook, and then this holds the trailer down. Sorry about the bad focus there. XR3i. 
So the XR4 was the Sierra, the XR3 was the Escort, and the XR2 was the Fiesta. Um, amazing. And the, and these these are models that uh, I don't I don't think they were available in the United States. So at 20 minutes, um, and with still quite a bit of um, quality to show off here, I'm actually going to do a second video tomorrow. And why I say tomorrow is because I have to get dinner, and because um, the second floor of my house, the attic here, gets quite hot in the direct sun. So. Uh, I'm I'm about done for today. I will actually upload this video tomorrow when I do the second. I'll upload both part one and part two together. So I, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I am always humbled by what great friends that know me, know my likes, and 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 you know they and I'm stunned. Thank you, Jaren. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, I will. Be talking to you soon.